It is currently unclear what impact Indonesia's decision to bar exports of palm oil will have on Trinidad and Tobago's manufacturing sector. Indonesia accounts for around a third of all vegetable oil exports globally, and the export ban was started on April 22nd in a bid to tackle rising domestic prices in the Asian country. The oils are used in everything from cakes and frying fats to cosmetics and cleaning products, and are notably used by major snacks manufacturers like Sunshine, Charles and Holiday Foods, prompting concerns of a potential price increase locally. Trade Minister Paula Gopiskun says there had been concerns about oil since the Russia-Ukraine conflict began, but she would need to speak with the stakeholders concerning the situation as it was not clear that the local market was affected at this time. She says discussions will be had with the importers to determine whether there are additional sources of supply. Gopiskun continues, given my knowledge, I do not believe they are the only suppliers and therefore it may very well be that there are other supplies. I would want to check with the Trinidad and Tobago Manufacturers Association and importers that the stock on hand is adequate and there are other sources of supply. The TTMA could not give a comment on the situation to Business Watch today. Scotiabank has been named Trinidad and Tobago's best bank for the third consecutive year by New York-based Global Finance magazine. The magazine highlights the bank's progress in transforming its business digitally, praising Scotia's Caribbean mobile app. The launch of Scotia Select Pay and improvements in e-commerce services and enhancements such as online account opening and the bank's interpayment gateway solution. Telecommunications provider B-Mobile is in praise for its role in the A Taste of Buko event over the Easter weekend. B-Mobile partnered with the Tobago House of Assembly to support the traditional Easter experience by allowing the public the option to stream the event held at Buko Integrated Facility online. The event did not happen for the past two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. THA Chief Secretary Farley Augustine praised B-Mobile's work as the event had more viewers online than in-person participants. This, he said, provided crucial marketing for the event. Peter Christopher, CNC3 Business Watch.